Hi, my name is Paul Offit from the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We're in the midst of doing these COVID-19 vaccine trials. Now, the way that these trials normally work is that you inoculate tens of thousands of people with a vaccine, you give tens of thousands of people just a placebo, usually salt water, and then you send them out into the world and you see who gets sick and who doesn't. And it takes a while for that to happen. Some people argue, why not just speed up the process? Why not essentially inoculate people who've gotten the vaccine with the, the, the virus and see whether or not they're protected? Um, there's a couple problems with that. Uh, first of all, although it probably would speed up the process somewhat, it is artificial. In other words, typically when you're infected with the virus in the, in the real world, um, you're infected because someone coughs or sneezes or, or, or talks in your direction. And then you're infected with a variety of different levels of virus. Some people are infected with just a little bit of virus, some people with more virus, some people with a lot of virus. And um, usually those who are infected with a greater quantity of virus, a greater amount of virus, are more likely to get sicker than those who are infected with a small amount of virus. When you do these human challenge studies to try and speed it up, usually only a single dose is picked. So it doesn't really mimic the, the natural situation. It's also not natural in the sense that you're really just inoculating the person with that virus rather than having them be exposed to small droplets from talking or sneezing or coughing. So that, that's, that's one of the problems. The second problem is that you really can't do those kinds of studies in people over 65 years of age. You, you can't inoculate somebody who's older who is, who is much more likely to die from this virus than someone who's younger with that, that, uh, that SARS-CoV-2 virus when you know that you don't have a rescue drug. You know that you don't have a drug that you can say with certainty would save that person's life. So though, although thousands of people, frankly tens of thousands of people, have offered to be part of these human challenge trial experiments, um, for the most part, they haven't gotten off the ground because really the virus is, is so contagious and there's so many people now that are being infected that you really can do the studies you need to do fairly quickly just by putting people in, in the natural situation. Thank you.